Hi, my name is Emma Phillips and I am part of the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery. And I would like to introduce you to our keynote speaker at the 2018 Understanding Risk Forum, Dara Dots. Dara Dots is the co-founder of Field Ready. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here and to see everything that's going on at this conference. All right, so Dara, we will be having you uh, present as a keynote address. What topic will you be presenting on today? Well, actually, I'm going to be talking about uh, what we do in the field. So at Field Ready, we focus on manufacturing humanitarian supplies, just like it sounds, in the field. And so a lot of times we work in disaster zones and crisis zones. But what we're really interested in is how we can use our learnings from this to use for a more resilient, to build more resilient communities um, after they've been affected by crisis. And so I'm really excited to talk about some of the stuff we've done to empower the communities through distributed manufacturing, um, design and, and engineering, and a lot of uh, different hacks and fixes we've had over the years, and see how we can really tie that into building a more resilient world. In fact, we actually just started building our first resiliency lab in Fiji, um, and so we're very excited to talk about it. So Dara, you spoke a lot about a resiliency lab. What exactly is a resiliency lab? So resiliency labs, uh, we have a different definition of what that is, but what we really focus on is the, the lab we're building in Fiji is really about um, empowering people in their communities. So through teaching locals maker and engineering skills, we're looking at critical pieces of infrastructure, um, analyzing how to fix them, and then the goal is so that when the next disaster strikes, each island can actually help the next island to help, to help before the bigger teams come in to do the response. Dara, can you give us an example of something that you've built in your resiliency labs? Yeah, absolutely. So um, our, one of our projects in Syria, actually, we're supporting the first responders. And one of the, I think, the coolest thing that we've done so far, actually, is a, is a search and rescue tool from our rescue tech program. And it's an airbag lifter that can lift nine tons. And we made it out of upcycled parts found, in, found on the ground in, in Syria. Um, the traditional ones cost around $5,000 and you have to get them around the, over the border. And in this case, we are, we're actually able to teach people locally how to produce them. And the most exciting part about it is now there's over 100 in the field helping people. And the, the team in Syria is now teaching the team in Nepal how to build them. So it's really sharing our, our learnings and then passing knowledge and creating more resilient communities. Dara, what do you hope to get out of understanding risk? Um, I'm really excited about being here because I really want to understand the bigger scale data analytics and how we can really look at large scale disasters and what that means and how we can take action. I'm also really interested in learning more about the terminology and language you guys use, like cascading effects, and I realize how parallel that is and how that really, where those pieces align with what we're working on in the field. So I'm super excited to understand that, see how the community works together, and really just get a better idea of how we can all work together to really mitigate these disasters. So I'm really excited about being here with you guys and uh, talking to all of you.